Masonius Rufus, who was a Stoic philosopher from Rome, argued that men are superior to women. He further says that men are natural rulers, while women are naturally inclined to be ruled. When we study Stoicism, we find that the great Stoic philosophers had mixed views about women. While they considered women to be of equal status to men, they also thought that a woman's place is at home. So we can say that Stoics had conservative views about women. That is why some people accuse them of misogyny. Stoics were almost consistent in their views that the place of women is inside the house. They thought that it's men's job to do politics, while women should stay at home. Masonius Rufus thinks that the education of women is only for the service of men. He said that the philosophy for women yields wiser and more dutiful housewives. He thinks that educating women turns out to be good for husbands. Epictetus says that the objective of philosophy for women is to yield modest women. Epictetus also advises men to fix their attention in order to make women understand that they are valued for their modesty. Epictetus also criticized women who construct their self-image based on their own objectification. Heracles, who was a Stoic philosopher from the second century, thought that women should know how to efficiently fulfill the orders of men. Masonius Rufus argues that a woman's responsibility is to take care of her children. In his letters, Seneca had once referred to women as having feminine weakness of mind. Seneca also held the view that women have a lack of self-control. The Stoic philosophers like Epictetus and Seneca had views that women are dependent on men for success. Socrates, who wasn't a Stoic, but he had some positive views about women. He says that it is a matter of justice that jobs and political opportunity be available to those with ability regardless of gender. Stoics in general were addressing men. All of their quotes and sayings are fully addressed to men. Nasonius Rufus, who is a Roman philosopher, always addressed men in his book. He never advised or talked directly to women. When we read the books of these Stoic philosophers, we come to know that sometimes these philosophers use misogynistic behaviors in their writings. For example, Cicero and Seneca use feminine adjectives while referring to moral wrongdoings or failures, and they use masculine adjectives while referring to honorable actions. In this context, Seneca had gone too far. He says Stoics are the only ones who consistently argue and think like men. Although Stoics had a different philosophy when it came to women, but they fully acknowledged the fact that men and women are equal in virtue. They also thought that men and women have different social standings, and this different social standing does not affect their virtue. Zeno, who is considered the founder of Stoicism, writes in his book that men and women have equal standing. Cleanthes, who is the successor of Zeno, had views that men and women are equal in virtue. Epictetus says that women are equal to men by nature. Despite giving equal status to women, Stoics thought that women have different roles and responsibilities in a society and family. They were supposed to be subjective to men. <laughs>